What's up guys, welcome back to Matt Catches. As you can see, I'm back on official location and I hope you've all had a very good Christmas and about to have a very good New Year. I've checked the weather forecast, we're gonna have a low of six degrees and a high of seven degrees tonight, so it's a bit warmer than usual. And I've brought some new bait to try, a bit of sweet. I've been using fish meal bait before, but we've got some sweet strawberry crush, crush bait to use this time. So I'm gonna put a pink pop-up on with that, a nice sweet one, some of the sticky signature pop-ups. So I'm gonna make my rigs up now with some PVA mesh bags, whack them out, and fingers crossed we can have a fish. Right, so the bait I'm gonna be using today, I'm gonna to be using some of Nash strawberry crush boilies. I've got a little bag here just to try out it's only 200 gram and these are 12 more boilies which are sinking so my plan is i'm going to put these in the pva mesh bag probably about five six seven of these because they're only 12 mil boilies crush them up into little bits and hopefully the carp will have them seeming they're a bit of a sweeter bait then for hook bait above that i'm going to be putting a pink 12 mil signature pop-up uh, around that so it's all 12 mil keeping small for winter maybe have some bream on this but hopefully we just stick to the carp and then to finish that off with a bit of extra sweetness, I'm gonna be putting a bit of pineapple and butrix spray just on the hook bait. And hopefully this will come off and it'll just give that bit more of attractiveness. So the fish come along and eat this, think, oh, that's nice and sweet. That'll give me a bit of energy. Suck it right up and hopefully we have a fish. So that's the game plan. I'm gonna get some mesh bags made up now, cast it in, fingers crossed, we can have a fish. See, I've got both of my rigs made up here. I've put 10 of them 12 mil strawberry crush boilers into them mesh bags, each one, 10 in each, just crushed them up. I've got a 12 mil sticky signature pop up on, size four hooks, and I'm gonna spray on some of this pineapple and buttrick sticky spray. Uh, that smells really sweet, so this is a really sweet and small setup. So hopefully this is what catches us a fish if they're not eating as much bait. So all we can do now is cast them in and hope that we catch something. You'll never guess what I've done. I've just gone to get my uh, cup out of my bag, get my tea bag and that ready to made up for the water to go in. And uh, brilliantly, I forgot my cup. So uh, it's one of the worst things imaginable. I forgot my cup, so I can't even make a cup of tea. So I've got my water boiling, so I don't even know what I'm going to do with that. Um, I could make some noodles or something. But uh, yeah, don't get to test my kettle out today. But it seems to be pretty good so far. So uh, yeah, it's just thought I'd let you know my true pain that I'm in. I have just had a pickup on that uh, right hand rod again. Bob just went up, up a bit more. It hasn't dropped back yet, but that has happened a couple of times. So it could be a bream just sitting on there. But um, hoping it's not, I'm hoping it's a big 20 pound carp. Right guys, it's currently about four o'clock. I've just had a pot noodle. I've been making up some more mesh PVA bags to save me making them up in the night when hopefully we catch a fish. Um, and yeah, I've been watching the waters, a lot of birds. I haven't seen any fish jump. I have had a couple of knocks on my right hand rod, which I presume is a bream, but it possibly could be a carp because of the water is quite deep there. And it uh, picked up, it's done about three times now. It'll pick it up and then it'll, it wasn't dropping it back down, so it's just knocking it and taking a bit of line. So all I can do is uh, pray that whatever was knocking it is a big 20 pound carp, it comes back and hooks itself and we can have the carp out. So uh, I've just been watching some films on my phone as well. And there's nothing much more I can do because of the rain. So I think I'm gonna sit down, keep watching the water, watch a film, watch a film maybe, get some tea on, I've got some sausage butties for my tea. And fingers crossed, we can catch a fish. sitting under my brolly as you can see um, it's raining that's why I'm coming from inside my brolly it's actually driving at me you can't really hear it much because of, uh, I've got trees sheltering above me 
when it's driving in, my bed's wet and just stuff like that. So I'm thinking I've got my tea with me, some sausage butties, I'm going to stick my tea on now. Yeah, I've got a chocolate orange as well, so I can eat that. I'm going to have to make a cup of tea because I can't resist one, so I'm going to have to have it in the pot. And uh, I don't know what's wrong with that one, it's flickering, but it uh, doesn't matter, it's working. I've been trying to do my best watch the water, see no fish, few ducks, but uh, yeah, no fish yet. Hopefully we can have a fish because we have had a few knocks on this bait and I made up about another five mesh bags so we can recast if we get a knock or we can recast in a bit as well. So I'm going to stick, I'm going to put my tea on now and hopefully we can catch fish. There we have it, some humongous sausage butties. About to scram these down because I'm starving and it is quite cold. So this will warm me up. And hopefully, I think I'll re give the rods a recast then and hopefully we can catch fish. What I'm doing is, is I'm just putting some fresh PVA bags onto my rigs. I've just reeled both my rods in if you've just seen because I didn't get it on camera. But my left hand rod for about 20 minutes just going beep beep beep. No, stop. I go beep, stop, beep beep. And he just kept doing stuff like that taking its time over so I didn't know whether little bream had gone on just got caught on because I know bream can do that and just stay on your egg for ages and just keep going and going and going beeping every now and again or they just sit there sometimes so I had a strike nothing there so I've taken the opportunity anyway I'm going to recast my rods with some fresh PVA on so we're, that's my plan now I haven't seen much action so far but um, it's how fishing goes sometimes uh, you can't always be catching if you're always catching be called catching not fishing so I'm going to recast my rods now. Just sitting here, eating a chocolate orange. And I thought to myself, what is the best way to open a chocolate orange? Because right, it comes rock hard on the ball, don't it? What way do you actually open a chocolate orange? Right guys, it's about quarter past ten and I am going to sleep because I'm hoping I can get up for about seven o'clock as I always say this but it's about half seven. Hopefully catch the sunrise and hopefully I'm up all night catching fish but that's looking unlikely. But uh, as always we've got hope, you never know we could have a fish, I'm praying we do. I've been having a look at some tackle and different winter fishing tips online so hopefully I'm going to test a couple more of them out next time. So I'll see you guys in the morning, hopefully before but we never know. Morning guys, it's quarter about quarter past eight and I don't really know if you can hear me over the sound of the rain. It's been raining like this, I'd say since about midnight. It's been bucketing it down and bucketing it down non-stop all night. And um, yeah, it's quite wild. Luckily I slept through it, it hasn't been too bad. Unfortunately we haven't had a fish. Uh, I've had a few knocks though and a few pickups which is different. That left hand rod bobbing to the top. It's not like up to the alarm, but um, I was awake when that went off. I think it must have been a line or something, I had a few pulls on it. Then a right hand rod, I've had a couple bites on it. But other than that, it's been a pretty quiet night. So I think I'm going to get some breakfast on, and then hopefully the rain eases off a bit and I can recast. So yeah, I'm going to get my breakfast on. Right, I've just had my breakfast, I've got some PVA mesh bags made up, I'm just going to whack my rods in. The rain has eased off a little bit, but it still is raining, it's not too bad now, it's manageable. So we uh, get my PVA bags on, whack the rods back out. So I've been sitting here watching the water. There's a few little lines here where fish have been and the water has gone a bit muddy so they've been feeding in the edge. But unfortunately it's time for me to go home. I've been fishing since yesterday and it's still raining, it's been chucking it down. I managed to sit outside, this track here, three piece suits, absolutely immense, nice, warm, waterproof. So we're gonna start packing down now and it's unfortunately we've caught nothing. We have had a couple of beeps on the rods and that, so it hasn't all been a waste. But it's been nice to get out on the bank. And I think I've just seen a fish top over the other side of the lake there. 
but it's how it goes sometimes so as always it's Matt Catches signing out and I'll see you in the next video.